Joanne Hayes. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I'm pleased to stand to take a short call on the Remuneration Authority MP Remuneration Amendment um, Bill. And um, I'm pleased to see that our um, members from across the way over there are, are supporting um, this bill, because I can tell you when um, I hear um, the member Robertson talk about um, executive salaries um, rising, I um, worked in an industry in the health sector, actually, um, many moons ago. And, um, and I saw that, and we struggled away um, with the paltry sums that we got to pay our people. And um, to be honest, when I came here, I didn't expect any pay rise, because I, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to work for the people. I'm here to represent the people. And, um, and so when, I, uh, when the Prime Minister made the statement that he made about um, stopping the pay rise of 3.56% for our MP salaries, I was absolutely delighted. And I want to thank uh, Minister Woodhouse for, for leading, um, leading this bill and um, taking it through to its completion. I also want to commend uh, my fellow speakers behind me who have articulated um, the, the um, pros of, of this particular bill and the work that has gone into it um, to date, albeit it may be fast, but I can tell you that the results that we've had out there and the, the court at all that's happening out there um, with the public, they are very pleased to see that this government is actually listening to them, that um, we are a responsible um, government and managing the finances of this country um, with um, great vigour and responsibility that all people of this country would be looking forward to um, seeing. So, Mr. Um, Mr Speaker, without any uh, further ado, um, there are a couple more statements just to go on this, and um, I commend the bill to the House. Thank you. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. No. A party vote has been called for. The clerk will conduct a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 in New Zealand Labour. 32 votes in favour. Green Party. 14 votes opposed. New Zealand First. 11 votes in favour. Māori Party. Two votes in favour. Sorry. Act New Zealand. One vote in favour. United Future. One vote in favour. Any other votes? The ayes are 106, the noes are 14. The bill will be read a first time. Remuneration Authority, Members of Parliament, Remuneration Amendment Bill, first reading. Uh, this bill is set down for second reading forthwith. Mr Speaker. Michael Woodhouse. The Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. I move that the Remuneration Authority, Members of Parliament, Remuneration Amendment Bill be now read a second time. I want to acknowledge and thank the members who have made what I believe are uh, very considered contributions uh, on the bill. And while we will, in due course, uh, be in the Committee of the Whole, where I can respond to some of the more technical questions that have been raised in first reading speeches, I do want to touch on um, a few of the less technical and background um, uh, questions and challenges that have been raised. Uh, starting with um, <laughs> Mr Young, I think, who made a very, I think, salient point that today is St Patrick's Day. Uh, and indeed he quipped that uh, this was a rather Irish thing to do for the Parliament to be legislating for a pay uh, uh, drop relative to what was expected. But uh, I think we all agree that in principle that is the right thing to do. It's just the method and the practice. Now, I acknowledge Mr Hipkins' points where he made the, um, the very correct question that if it's OK for MPs to legislate to set aside a pay increase that it believes is too high, what is to stop MPs legislating to set 